Wait, can you stay out here for a few seconds? Um, why? <sighs> because I don't want people knowing that you're my sister. This is our first day, they don't even know us. Yeah, but if I want to be besties with the popular girls, then I can't have a sister that's lame like you. So you're ashamed of me? Mmm, yeah, pretty much. <sighs> Whatever. Thanks, you're the best. Hi, I'm Julia, and this is my first day at a new school. I used to live in Oregon, but then my mom wanted to be a fashion designer, and if she wanted to pursue her career, she had to go to a big city, nothing like Oregon. So we moved to Chicago. Back in Oregon, I wasn't popular, but people knew my name. I was really just there. I had a few friends. Nobody really bullied me. I didn't know how I would have fit in in the city. Most girls here take like an hour to do their makeup. And I didn't even know how to put on foundation correctly. Trust me, I've tried multiple times. My sister is a pro at it though, but it's not like I'm gonna ask her. She's a definition of a devil. I don't really care how I look at school. It's not a fashion contest. It's just about learning. And I love learning, as you can tell by my backpack. Ah, ow. This was my first day in a new city at a new school, and I think I already found my soulmate. This was every teen girl's dream. This was like a movie. You know, when the smart girl knocks into the handsome boy, and then they both apologize and he picks up her books, and then they fall in love. I wasn't that big on love, but I could tell that this one was a keeper. Get out of my way, dork. And never mind. I wasn't that shocked though. I mean, a girl dressed like me in the city? I was screaming to be called a nerd. <sighs> Stereotypes these days. Um, that's my seat, weirdo. There's not assigned seats in this class. Yeah, but I sit there every single day. Okay. And? Oh my gosh, you not understand English? Get out of my seat, dork. He was making my blood boil. I can already tell that in the future, I'm going to despise you. What? He looked so confused. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you were on a kindergarten reading level. How can I say this in the dumbest way possible? I hate you. Does it look like I care? It's not like I want a nerdy girl liking me anyways. I just shrugged it off and ignored him. It didn't affect me. Your hurtful words don't make an impact on me. Why do you talk like that? Talk like what? All smart. That's weird, idiot. To be honest, I don't care what he thought of me. I wasn't here to make friends. I was here to learn. And that's all I really cared about. After class, I saw the rude kid talking to my sister. Hey Maria, what do you have for next period? Oh, you're friends with the dork? No, no, I've never seen her in my entire life. Yeah, we are si- Shh. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know who this person is. Ow, let go of me. Don't go around telling people that I'm related to you. Got it? Why do you care so much about what people think of you? Listen, I don't want to be known as the girl who has a dorky sister. Got it? Why do you think I'm a dork? Because I'm smart? You just are, okay? Ew! What is that smell? Ugh. <laughs> what the heck? That was hilarious. You should have seen your face. That's disgusting. Why would you do that? It's funny. No, it isn't. It smells so bad. That's the point, loser. Ugh, somebody's mad. Will you just leave me alone? Oh my gosh. Haha. <laughs> hey, mom. Hey, sweetheart. How was school? I was about to tell her everything that happened. About the bully and Mariah. But I chose not to. She seemed too busy anyways. Good. That's good. The first thing I did was study, as usual. <sighs> it's getting late. Today I went to school without my sister. She was taking too long to get ready, and I knew she was gonna make me wait outside anyways. Move, dork! We're literally in the middle of a match! Oh, my bad. I used to play soccer. Okay, do you want a cookie or something? I just wanted to know if I could- No! Mm -mm, no. Don't even think about wanting to play with us. You know we're just gonna say no, right? We don't want a loser on our team. Yeah. And plus, you're a girl. Ah! Oh, excuse me? What does that have to do with anything? All girls do is their hair and makeup. No, we don't. Actually, you don't even need makeup. Really? Thanks. Because makeup wouldn't even fix that face of yours. Was he serious? Wow, thanks a lot. That was my last straw. How could somebody even be that rude? And the bullying didn't stop there. It was every day. Get out of my way, loser. Why do you have so many books, you dork? Weirdo. Ew, what are you wearing? Four eyes. Oh my gosh. Can you just stop already? It's not funny. Nobody's laughing. All you're doing is saying hurtful things. That's just messed up.
I was so glad I said that. It was the perfect moment. Everyone was around. And they were all really mad at him. Yeah, dude, that's messed up. You don't say that to a girl. You're just rude. Not cool, bro. After that terrible day at school, I was walking home. And then suddenly, a bunch of bullies from my school showed up. Cute backpack. Don't mind if I- Hey, give that back. Eh, I'd rather not. Let's see what's in it. Hmm. Ooh, a phone. And obviously, the dork would have some books. It's not funny. Give it back. I have to go home soon. Oh, does poor little nerd have a curfew? Haha. <laughs> no, I just need to get home before dinner. I don't want to be late. Break her phone. No, stop. Beat it, losers. <gasps> here, take your stuff. <gasps> I'm out of here. Um, huh? what are you doing here? Just go away. Uh, I just saved you from those bullies. I don't need your help. And since when did you care about me? They were being rude. I was just trying to help. Oh, so it's okay for you to bully me, but it's not okay for them to bully me. I don't bully you. On picture day, right before I was getting my picture taken, you dumped your breakfast on me. I had syrup stuck in my hair for a week. It was funny. I cried. <sighs> Just wait. Why don't you come over to my place? Why would I want to? Because all you do is stay at your house and sit there and study, you know, boring stuff. So how about you study at my house? So I'm lame for studying at my own house, so I'm going to study at my bully's house? Just come over, please. I'm going to regret this, but fine. It was already getting late, but I was so shocked by his house. It was huge. It was a mansion. What? This place is amazing. Eh, I guess so. You guess so? <gasps> you have an elevator in your house? Yeah. What? Oh my god. You have a library? Yeah, but nobody comes in here. I don't read and my parents are never home. Why? They work for the government. I actually felt bad for him. He was so mean to me because he never had loving parents. They were never here for him. You can take any book that you want or just have all of them. You're kidding. I've been looking for this book. Oh my gosh. You are so lucky. I put a few of the books in my bag, but then I had to leave because it was getting late. I actually had a lot of fun with you tonight. Yeah, I had fun too. For some reason, I was blushing. There was no way I was following for the kid that bullies me. Well, bye Liam, bye. I actually dreamed about him that night, but then I woke up and the worst thing happened. Why do I have so many notifications? Tons of people were sending me this video and saying hurtful things about me. What is this? I then clicked on the video. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was a video of me sleeping. My hair was a mess and I was snoring. I was even drooling. And worst of all, I was sleep talking about Liam. I knew exactly who did this. Mariah! Mariah! And of course, she already left her school. Oh, I have to go get her right now. Yes, we weren't the nicest to each other, but how could she possibly do this? The moment I walked into school, all eyes were on me. How was that dream you had last night? Dork, I cannot believe that you're falling for him. There's no way you're ever going to get a guy like him. Yeah, sorry girl. I wanted to burst into tears, but I had to find Mariah. And of course, there she was, talking to Liam. What is wrong with you? Did you get dropped on the head as a baby or something? Because how could you possibly do this? Um, don't yell at me for it. It was all Liam's idea. What did she just say? What? Well, I can explain. I spit it out, Liam. I'm sure she wants to hear everything that happened. Well, it wasn't my fault. Lie. Since he can't speak, I guess I'll tell you the story. He came to me a few days ago and said, Hey, Mariah, I think it would be an amazing prank on your sister if you record her while she's sleeping. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea because I can hear her snoring from my own room. And he was like, oh my gosh, we're going to get so viral from this. And I was like, yeah, I know, right? So I went home and a few days later, I recorded you. And I so happened to catch the perfect moment on the camera. Because you were there drooling, snoring, and sleep talking about Liam. And I guess his plan worked out well. Because the whole school district has seen the video. And plus many more. I cannot believe that I was hearing this right now. Was this really all of your idea? No, well, yes, but like, I've changed. You know what? I really thought that we were having a good connection. You know, after I came over to your house last night and you let me borrow your books, 
and you were actually being really nice to me, and we were talking for hours. And you know, I actually felt bad for you for once. I was like, oh, this kid doesn't have loving parents that are here for him, so he has to pick on somebody like me. But you really just threw our friendship down the drain. I ran to the bathroom and started crying my eyes out. Julia, go away. Haven't you ruined my life enough already? I came here to explain. You don't need to explain yourself. Please, I'm not leaving. The bell rang, but I didn't care. I wasn't going anywhere until he was gone. I'm gonna be late to class, so whatever, just lock yourself in there forever. Finally, he's gone. Now can we talk? <gasps> you tricked me. It was the only way that I could get you to come out and talk. I don't want to talk. Can you not take a hint? Wait, Julia, wait. I'm sorry, okay? When I told her to make the video, that was before I really got to know you. I thought you were just some dork. But then once we started hanging out, I realized that you were actually a really cool person. And I've changed, and I really, really am sorry. Was I being too hard on him? He seemed really sincere. Was he actually telling the truth? Or was it another lie? I really, really like you, Julia. Like, not just as a friend. I was shocked. Did my bully actually like me? And I was too nervous to ask you out. And I don't really know how to flirt. Because the truth is, nobody has really liked me before. So you thought making fun of me and bullying me was a way of flirting? To be honest, I couldn't really blame him. I see it happen all the time in school. Whenever a girl or a guy doesn't know how to flirt, they're mean to the person that they like. I'm sorry. <sighs> I forgive you. Really? Yeah, I do. I understand. We started talking some more, and I realized that he has changed a lot. I guess being around me improved his personality. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Mom is still at work. Oh, okay. So, I bet you had a great day at school today. Yeah, and I actually found out that Liam has changed a lot, and I should be mad at you, not him. You know he's never gonna like you, right? You're just a loser. He's popular and cute and you smell. You think that that affects me, saying that I smell? It's the truth, sweetheart. Nobody's ever gonna like you. <laughs> um, why are you laughing? It's just funny how wrong you are. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Do not walk away from me. I walked into school feeling confident. I was not about to let anybody get in my way, especially Mariah. Hey, queen. Oh, you decided to step up your wardrobe. Who are you trying to impress? Liam. And you actually brushed your hair for once. Oh, how cute. Little did she know, yesterday, Liam asked me out. But I was going to let her wait and see for herself. No, I just decided to wear something different today. Oh, well, it doesn't suit you. I mean, it would probably look good on me because everything looks good on me. But you? Mmm, no. And your hair is looking a little yellow, sis. Okay, did you know that the video has gotten 1 million views now? You know, the one of you snoring and dreaming about Liam. Yeah, I do know. People are gonna make fun of you. You know that, right? Yeah? You're gonna be the laughing stock of the whole school. I know. Can you stop agreeing with everything I'm saying? Sure. Ugh! Things worked out just as planned. And I'm so glad that things finally got sorted out with Liam. I actually won over my sister, and I fell in love with my enemy. Hey, hey, what's up? Nothing. <sighs> Don't even look at me, you two. I didn't want to anyways. Oh, so you're gonna bully me now, huh? Is that how it's gonna work? I'm literally so done with you two. <laughs> now that I'm done with this roleplay series, comment down below any ideas that you have for the next one. And make sure that you are following and you like this video. Bye everyone and thanks for all the support.